Hey guys, Eric Agorno here with Performance Golf. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a little twist away trick that I use with all of my students to get better contact and compression. So if you're like me and the players that I work with, the main thing we want when we hit balls and go out and play is to consistently hit the ball solid. I'm gonna show you how to do that in today's video. Now, first things first, when we talk compression, I've got an eight iron here. And if we look at an eight iron impact position, let's say for myself, maybe a tour pro or any good ball striker at impact, we're gonna see a look that looks something like this. Now, if we look at impact and we notice where the hands are and how the shaft is leaning towards the target, notice the difference between setup, where the shaft is slightly leaning towards the target, and impact, where the shaft is leaning more towards the target. Now, effectively what we're doing is we're taking our eight iron and we're taking loft off to make it like a seven iron or a six iron. Now, what that's called is compression. That's when you hit those shots that feel so solid and they fly really far. Those are the shots that keep us coming back. Well, guess what the tour pros do? They hit it like that every single time because they're able to get that shaft lean at impact. Okay, Eric, well, how do I get there? What does that all mean? Well, the only way to get shaft lean at impact, which we need for solid contact and compression, is to get the club face closed earlier during the swing. Okay, this is where the twist away comes in. I'm gonna show you that drill in a minute. So if we look at my club face here, and we say this is square, toe right on top of the heel. In the swing, I can twist the club one of two ways. I can twist it open, which would be toe behind the heel, clockwise motion. Twisting the club open in a full swing is good for absolutely nothing. Okay, this is the thing that causes all of the bad during the downswing. Now I can also close the club face or I can twist it the opposite way, which is toe in front of the heel. Now when I twist toe in front of the heel, that makes my club face closed. And that's what good ball strikers do throughout their swing. See, it's the foundation or the prerequisite that you need to get that good impact position, that good shaft lean, all of the contact that we want. Now, how do we do that? And this is where the twist away comes in. So ironically, the hardest part of this drill is getting it set up correctly, but all you need is a tee and a golf glove. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna put this tee here in the corner of my glove and I'm gonna wrap it here so that it sticks out of the side of my glove. Now, we're gonna notice when I take my setup position, how that T points relatively towards the target, right? Would you agree the T is basically at the target? Now, when I go in swing, what causes poor contact, what I see a lot of my students do, is they're twisting the club face, notice the toe to heel, they're twisting the club face open throughout the swing. Now, notice when they twist it open, let's check out the club face and where my T goes in correlation with that. As the club face gets more open, bad, where does the T go, up or down? T goes up, right, towards me. So T towards me, club face open, during the takeaway, not good. Top of backswing, not good. Downswing towards me, not good. And through impact, not good. Now, if T towards me and club face open is not good, that's gonna lead to everything we don't want. Big flip, no shaft lean, no compression. That means T away from me or towards the ground would be good. Watch what happens here. If I get the toe in front of the heel, see how that T ever so slightly goes down towards the ground and that's closing the club face. I'm telling you, if there's one thing you could do to set up good pieces later, it's get the club face closed sooner. That's what the good ball strikers do. Okay, so how do we do that? I take my setup position, my T's in my glove, it's pointed towards the target. I wanna feel like that T points more towards the ground, away from me, away from the target, at all phases of the swing, and I would start checking it right away during the takeaway. So I've got it towards the target. Good, when I start going back, would look something like this. My left wrist went from a slightly cupped position at setup with the T towards the target, to a relatively flat position during the takeaway with the T slightly down towards the ground. Now notice as the T is slightly down towards the ground, the toe is in front of the heel. Remember, that's the look of the club face being closed that we're looking for. Same thing here. From this takeaway position, where do we go? Well, I don't wanna to go towards my face. That would open the club face, not good. 
from it being pointed down towards the ground and the wrist being flat, I wanna to start to feel like that points away from the target. Now notice when I feel like the T points away from the target or away from me, that that keeps my left wrist flat and that gets my club face nice and square at the top or close to the path like we want. Now is that good enough? Can we just set it at the top and swing from there? Maybe, but I would hedge my bet and continue doing it all the way down. What does that look like? Okay, I've got the T in. I'm gonna go down towards the ground, close the face. I'm gonna go away from the target, close the face. And in transition, I'm actually gonna go away from the target a little bit more. So my glove logo or the T points away from the target. Now notice how that continues to close the club face there. That's what we want, that's what's good. As I get down into the, uh, to delivery with the club about parallel to the ground, I'm okay with the T about level to the ground, but I don't mind if you wanna keep feeling the same thing and keep getting the toe in front of the heel. Now from this position, with the T slightly down and the toe in front of the heel, guess what it makes it really easy to do from face on? Get that shaft lean at impact, okay? Check this out this way. If I had an open club face, toe behind the heel like this, and I bring that down to my setup position, if I lean my shaft more forward with an open club face, where does the face point? A mile to the right, way open, okay? Your brain would never do that. If the club face is open like this and I bring it down, it's always gonna flip to square it. Does that look like those good players we showed in good compression and contact? No, it doesn't. Now, if that's true, that means if we get down where the T's down towards the ground, the toe's in front of the heel and the face is more closed, right? If I bring this club face up here and I close the club face, just to exaggerate to show you, and I bring that closed club face down, it's pointed left to the target, Watch what happens when I get shaft lane. Now's where, where's it pointed? Dead at my target. Okay, so from this position with the T down, toe in front of the heel, I can get all the things I want at impact. Shaft lane, body rotation, swing from inside, all those things that we want. Okay, so hopefully that conceptually makes sense. Now, how do you put this in the practical application? Well, what I would do is when you go hit balls, I'd put the T in the glove. I'd start with something like an eight iron. And most of my students all start out about hip high, hip high. Okay, we'll get to the rest of the swing, but we'll start short. So these eight iron shots, I might hit about a hundred yards or so to kind of scale this for you. I got the ball on a T here a little bit. You can do that or put on the grass, it's fine. But what I want you to be able to do is take your setup, T's towards the target, go back to about hip high or halfway back and feel like the T points slightly down towards the ground, the wrist is flat and the toe's in front of the heel. Now from there as you start your downswing, feel the T point more down towards the ground. Notice when I go more down towards the ground, how that keeps my club face square and it gives me all that shaft lane. So with little half swings, it's down towards the ground, more down towards the ground. And I'm just gonna go about hip high, hip high, down towards the ground, more down towards the ground. This would be like an eight iron sort of punch out out of the trees. You know, sometimes you do those punch out shots, and you're like, holy cow, I hit that so solid. Why can't I just do that in my full swing? This is what this is gonna teach you to do. So first ball here, we go about hip high, hip high. The T's gonna go down towards the ground and down towards the ground. And that's about what I'm looking for. That's as solid as I can hit a little half swing eight iron. The ball drew maybe five yards. It went about 120 yards. I've got good contact with the divot past the golf ball. Okay, now like anything else you do, you gotta learn how to walk, right, first, and then you can run, and then you can sprint. So I wouldn't rush through those half swings. In fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea to start every practice session with those half swings. 10 shots, maybe 20 shots from hip high, hip high. Could you get too good at that? No, you can't, okay? We wanna do a lot of those. Now, once I can do those, I would graduate to a longer swing. Just like we said, the mantra is down towards the ground, more down towards the ground. But from a down towards the ground takeaway, what did we say from there to the top? Away from the target. Right, point the T away from me. So it's down towards the ground, away from me, more away from me, more down. Like Eric, that's a lot of stuff at one time. I get that, start short and build these in over time, but over time, that's where you wanna go, okay? So if I were to build this into a full swing, down towards the ground, 
away from me. So I feel like you're curling your wrist, you're twisting the grip uh, sort of counterclockwise here, feeling more of it in transition. Notice when I do that good, the shaft shallows and that squares the face. Now check out the bad version. Check out if I go T towards me. Look at how that steepens the shaft and opens the face. Poor contact, no compression. This is great ball striking. More down towards the ground. So I'm gonna have a feel here with a full swing, down towards the ground, kind of away from me throughout, and a little bit more down towards the ground through impact. Now I hit one half swing one. Again, I would start with that and don't rush through that. But let's go down and away. And there's another solidly struck iron shot. It might be about, I don't know, 10 feet right of my target. Pretty straight shot from there. Solid, good contact and compression. Remember, to hit your iron solid, you have to get some shaft lead impact. That is non-negotiable. The easiest way to get there is to close your club face sooner. How you close your club face sooner is with that twist away. You're literally twisting the shaft. And a simple way to do that is putting the T in the glove here. Again, that can be the hardest part. It might take you a little bit to do. But if you want solid contact and compression, give this one a shot. And guys, if you like this video, do us a favor, click that little like button down there. Share this with a friend uh, who needs some help. That really helps us out. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions.